Hey, how's it going? Douglas James here. So thanks for taking the time in your day to watch this video. Um, so in this video, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the athletics guide and show you uh, where your site's at right now online as far as your SEO goes versus your top competitor um, and show you some of the things that we can do to get you to dominate the market. Um, and also we're going to dive into Facebook a little bit and show you uh, how many people you could be reaching on Facebook per day um, and, and possible conversions into that into them engaging into your content on your blog site so um, as you can see we're on amplocal.com you know you can check us out for more information here I just want to have the site up in the beginning so you can check that out um, but I just want to dive right in so here is your site all right so um, I've did a lot of research on you know what you guys are doing and then the exact business model you have uh, with your engaging content and um, I mean it's it's a really awesome uh, platform and it's a really great business model um, what's great about it is you know over 85 percent of your uh, or of your uh, I wouldn't call them customers but of your spectators that are going to come to your site and to read your content um, they're gonna click uh, and search the stuff on Google so being at the top of these searches is going to be really really profitable for you guys to get more engagement and more people visiting your your page and to see your content um, so right now I kinda wanna show you you know how much how many people you're getting to your site right now and this may not be a shocker uh, so right now you have zero visitors to your site. You have pretty much zero traffic to your site according to SEMrush.com and uh, SpyFu.com. Okay, um, this SEO click, you're, it looks like you've gotten one. That might have been, um, you know, just by luck or maybe one of you guys looking, you know, uh, Google pick, picked up that one click. So really not much going on right now. Um, your top competitor, however, you shot me over. It's these guys, uh, the the Players Tribune. So these guys are really dominating the market. Um, they have 164,000 people visiting their site per month. Um, that's quite a few, and uh, it's pretty consistent. These SEO clicks are motivated keyword searches. So th this this number I got right here is 220,000. So this is actually could include uh, you know social uh, links and um, social traffic as well uh, but for this one like some of the keywords that they're ranking for as you can see here Blake Griffin Ricardo Lockett just a bunch of athletes and you know famous people uh, at, at, uh, you know athletes in general um, this one word players they're ranked number one for you know, and it's getting searched 12,000 times a month. So I think the biggest, after looking at, you know, your site, also, let me, let me see real quick. Yeah, I showed you these numbers as well. Um, so one of the biggest things with you guys' site right now is the content. So, like, when I go on their page, you know, they, these guys just have a ton of content, ton of media, ton of photos, um, all these pictures, high definition photos um, that are named properly. You know, all the all the naming of each one of the, all their media is relevant to their page and what the purpose of their page is for. So Google's picking up on all this information. Um, I mean, this is a pretty lengthy page. You know, so all this media is, is really great. Uh, you guys, on the other hand, you know, it's a pretty short site. So definitely beefing up your home page uh, is going to be huge. Adding, you know, I would add 15, even 30 photos on the on the home page and make sure we optimize each one of those photos and have them name something uh, relevant to what the picture is about and what your page about is in general. Um and also I would add content um, search engine optimization the biggest thing if you're going to rank for these sports players and all of these keyword terminology 
uh, you want to have an abundance of content on the home page already you know so I understand like inside your site you have a lot of content but what if we put you know 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page and give Google more of an opportunity to read through more material to pick up more keywords so the more relevant the more information you're throwing out there to Google um, the more chances you're gonna rank it in more keywords uh, the thing that these guys are doing is their media these high definition photos and all this media they have a lot of photos on the front page and it looks like it's just highlights from from this game right so that's something that you guys could be doing uh, I will say this you know success truly leaves clues success leaves clues so these guys are dominating for a reason so um, if you do want to be the domineering uh, uh, you know, site out there for, for this market um, and have it, people engaging with their content at the level that they are at, you're going to want to kind of take a deeper look at what they're doing and even try to replicate that success. Um, that's the easiest way to do it and there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Alright, so them posting these highlights of these games, you know, if you went to a, uh, a, f a high school football game and wanted to do si a similar thing and, and tell a story behind it and give a description per picture, each shot, you know, each throw, each kick, whatever. Um, I think that is a really good strategy and updating that information and refreshing it consistently and constantly, maybe on, on the weekly, bi-weekly, or at least monthly basis, is going to show Google that you're consistently putting fresh content out there, republishing new articles. You want to be very consistent and very relevant um, to what you're trying to do. So, um, yeah, I see that. I see similarities in both the sites, um, but definitely those are some really good key pointers right there. Um, the site. Um, I'm pretty sure it looks like this is a WordPress site, so that's good. Um, and then, of course, you know, having a newsletter is awesome. You guys definitely want to build up. That's going to be one of the part of the marketing that we're going to want to do is get more people on your email list, so you can hit that email list constantly and get those people coming back to your site and getting that traffic going and having them tell them their their friends about you and and stuff like that. Uh, and you know we're going to talk about social media here in a second, but that is going to be really huge for you guys. All right, so um, I kind of talked about the content. You know, I, I definitely recommend we get uh, a thousand, two thousand words of content on the home page, and that could just be more stories, sharing more stories, uh, sharing more articles, having more, you know, higher end, maybe not so higher end, but um, you know, just more engaging content. On the home page and maybe even putting more information about you guys on the home page you know instead of this is about you guys you know you know maybe just finding new ways and other ways to get more content on the page is going to be huge giving Google more of an opportunity to rank you for more keywords and and uh, search terms right um, so let me show you another thing so I want to if you wanted to look at any pages uh, title and um, description you just do site and then colon and then the URL okay so these are you this is your guys so what I'm seeing what you want to have you know the branding is awesome the athletes guide that's I think that's perfect we don't need to worry about that just leave that alone but everything after that you need to have um, other type of relevant uh, keyword search uh, data. So I, I would be using, um, you know, especially for the home title. I think I know what you're trying to do. The advice I wish I had. It's it's catchy. It kind of catches their eye, right? Um, it's a little. It's unique, definitely. But you want to have like some keywords like sports and athletes and um, players. You know, things like that. Really common keyword searches right there in the title. You know, because like these guys, um, no, not this page. I just showed you. So like they're ranking, you know, number number one for players. You know, number eight for ballers. That's in regards to basketball. And understand, you don't really have basketball on your site right now, so you can put 
um, you know, an, another type of common uh, keyword that's relevant to one of the sports uh, that you guys write about on the page. So, um, so like this is great. Every time you do an article and you title it, yeah, you want to have the the athlete's name. And so that's that's awesome. Um, but I, I would say definitely for optimizing the home page, we want to add you know just a couple of those keywords is going to be really good. You want to maximize this, and this is really short um, description. You can have I believe up to yeah, seventy characters. So this is just shy. You should be able to get um, like a two, uh, a full two uh, lines of information here. And again, we want to use some of those keyword. Uh, searches like you know uh, ballers or players or athletes or high school sports um, or college sports or, or whatever the target audience is or the target relevance is we want to be mentioning it in abundance right here this is an opportunity to get really uh, uh, really good keyword search terms put right here in the page okay and then again you know every time you guys post an article you have a new page, of a new blog post, or anything like that. Definitely want to put the athlete's name um, in there. So I think you guys have a good idea of, of what's going on. So uh, with that being said, I will notice I did notice that the site was a little incomplete. Um, I think I just saw it here. So like shops, I know uh, you want kind of want to revamp the site, and definitely content. Um, is going to be a big part of that in your shop if you're going to have you know any types of clothing or apparel that's going to be uh, something that you definitely want to beef up so we'll work on that for you um, but I would definitely get you know uh, more sections to your site at least this honestly this um, what I want to do for you guys is this looks a little uh, plain you know so this header here we might want to you know look at what kind of layout template this is we might want to do some custom coding you know bring the social media markers like really big up here um, even like uh, we can put like pages directly to your social media up here so as soon as someone hits the page they can automatically like you and it could show how many people like these pages so that's some custom coding we could do for social media because social media is going to be one of the big drivers with this for sure so um, and definitely you want to have like a pop-up for your newsletter so when someone comes to your site you know after on the after they're on the site for 10 to 20 seconds um, they have interest because you actually lose somebody after three seconds uh, so if you have them at that point that's a good time to get them on your newsletter so we can custom code that for you as well um, and then have I would have any type of contact information you know right off the bat you know of course the social media contact um, and put so I feel feel like something's got to go up in this bar and it just needs to be more customization as far as your theme and uh, all that goes and your color palette and all that so we have like a you know burgundy black white kind of canvas um, maybe we can look at doing something else in the background you know just to kind of give it a little bit more of an intriguing um, aesthetic feel to the site so that's just some stuff on the site um, it's not a bad site at all but again like I said success leaves clues these guys are number one for a reason I mean look at this photo right when you hit the site it really jumps out at you right that's kinda that's the feeling that you wanna have um, when someone hits your site like this site I'm definitely gonna wanna read and engage a little bit more because of this passion this very in your face kinda photo you know so um, I hope that makes sense um, but definitely how they tell their story you know they have a whole highlight of, of an entire game on the page I think that was pretty huge and you can even give to add more content you can give descriptions per per post um, that's just gonna be really good you want to be very active on your page updating uh, consistently like I said bi-weekly and monthly at least um, let's see where what else did I have here so so mo a mobile friendliness is important you are mobile friendly I just kind of threw that in there I wanted to check it because um, over 80% of your uh, viewers are gonna be on an iPhone or Android or you know Galaxy S whatever tablet um, so you want to be mobile friendly so you don't have to worry about that 
um, let's see. Okay, so I kind of talked to you about like the on, everything I've talked to you about so far is like the on-page optimization for search engine optimization, um, the stuff that Google looks at on your site. Um, now I'm going to talk about the stuff that we're going to do off-page. Um, and this is this is huge. Once you got your site all locked in, dialed in 100%, now it's time to let people know about it. And it's time to uh, get people talking about your site and you mentioning more things about your site offline. Um, well, it's online, but not on your site is what I mean. Um, Google truly is, you know, like a popularity contest. The, the more popular you are, the more people talking about you, the more higher ranks you're going to have, right? So, um, right now, uh, you guys don't have much going on. It's, it's pretty much a brand new site, right? Um, so you don't have many people mentioning you online. SEO is, you know, what you say about your business online and what everybody else says about your business online. So they have these things called backlinks and referring domains. And what these are, these are simply links to your site. So when someone's reading an article or any type of content, from another website or another blog or somewhere else on the internet, social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, um, there would be a link in that article and when someone clicks on it, it goes to your directly to your website. So this is called a backlink and the link that they clicked on would be a relevant keyword like players or ballers or Wayne Gretzky or whatever the athlete is. Um, that's called the anchor text. So we want to get you more backlinks with more relevant anchor text keywords that we want to rank your website for. So every time um, you have an article posting about a particular athlete or anything, it would be really nice to have a link somewhere else with that athlete's name. And inside that link of that athlete's name is your website. So when someone clicks that athlete's name, it goes to your site. This is going to be huge for you. Um, but it doesn't stop there. That site or that article where that link's coming in from, it has to be of high authority. It has to be an important website, okay? Because if it's not, it doesn't. It's not going to matter. So, um, I'll show you. So this is an example of you know high authoritative sites. The average when they're ranked number one to number ten. So every Google page holds ten domains, ten websites. Um, so the average. Uh, this is called trust flow. Okay, that's how powerful the site is, pretty much. Okay, um, and it's, this number's range is zero to one hundred. So the average trust flow or power of a site at number one is twenty. Okay, and as you can see, as you go down to number ten, it goes down dramatically. You know, so you want to be. I'm gonna show you this chart here in a second. So, in other words, you want to be a 20, okay, because that's high quality sites. Those are, you know, ranked number one and two. Medium quality sites, like you just saw, are ranked, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, or on page two. Low quality are definitely like page two, way, way back where you guys are right now. So, this is you guys right now. The, your trust flow is at a zero, okay, and you have no links. Or backlinks pointed to you. Everything's zero, right? Um, let me show you your top competitor. This is what they look like. They have 1,460 domains. That means there's 1,460 websites or blogs out there mentioning them on the internet, and they have 10,225 backlinks. So that's um, you know that's the combining of all the domains, all the pages, all the articles, social links, and all that good stuff their trust flow is 29 so as i just showed you this chart you know that's off the chart so it's a very high quality site um so they're a very high authoritative website you know they're getting 170,000 you know visitors per month there's a reason why you know so that's the type of competition you're looking at so they have a very powerful site the good thing is you know that we know exactly what they're doing and where their links are coming from. You know, we have all this data. I can see where all their links are coming from across the internet. So we can go, you know, 
what we do pretty much is we go over all line. We actually have a database of over 10,000, um, you know, articles, and blogs, and and uh, websites in our database. We also have a lot of partners uh, that have you know high authoritative sites and blogs that we can get articles published and get your site mentioned to get you um, these backlinks. So we can definitely get you this power that you're looking at. Um, but it's going to take some time and it's going to take some patience. Um, we're talking about 1,400 links. But the thing is, if we go after very, very high authoritative sites and do press releases, um, really, really get your name out there, uh, we'll be able to dominate You know, for the keyword searches. As long as this, the site is optimized like it should, we'll be able to point, um, you know, I would say anywhere between four to 500 links you know about a third of what they have and dominate because your trust we can get your trust flow over 30 and that is going to be more of an authoritative site than they are um, and that's just going to happen with time this is this process is going to take six months to a year not going to sugarcoat it that's just the way it is but the return is going to be huge so as you can see you know they're at 164,000 visitors and with their social media and everything, they're over 200,000. So it's quite a bit. Um, that's quite a bit per month, and that's consistent. So that's the plan for you guys. That's the plan. You know, uh, do the do the backlinking, get all the on-page optimization done, and build your backlink profile. Um, and we also have some very ninja ways of getting links from college websites um, like Harvard, Yale, and all that cool stuff. Or I'll show you. Um, I always pull up Harvard, Harvard for this one for some reason. Um, but let me show you like the power of this site real quick. So you've seen these guys. We don't need to look at them no more. Um, .edu links and .org links are very, very powerful. Um, so look at these guys, over 2 million. All right, trust flow 77. This is like more than twice as powerful. This is nearly two and a half times powerful, right? So we have a way to get links from, you know, these high-end college sites uh, and get them mentioning you. Um, but it, it's, and it's a way for you to give back, too. We actually go in there and um, we let them know, hey, you know, we're giving a $1,000 scholarship um, to any st to students. You know, we're going to take a bunch of essays on, and we would create a topic, you know, for them to write about. Um, and then we would just pick the winner and post five on social media and whoever gets the most likes wins. Um, and then once the college, you know, once you pick the winner, the college is going to post an article and then mention you online and mention the, the child and uh, the kid that won the thousand dollar scholarship that you gave away. And now you're going to have this high powerful end link pointing to your site. And now your trust flow is going to mirror this trust flow because of all of these with the referring domains and backlinks. I mean, so this is how we can get your trust flow to like over 60 and 70, like you see here. And that's going to give you really, really high authoritative. So, you know, getting 200,000 people a month to view your content is not going to be a problem when you got Harvard and Yale and Baylor and LSU and all these colleges mentioned to you. So that's some down the road stuff that we can definitely talk about more. But we can definitely use our, our uh, you know, processes that we have to get you you know, high-end links, um, you know, blog posts that we have are actually, you know, 30 to 50 trust flow that are still very powerful. But to go to the next level, this is going to be the approach that we're going to have to take. So I hope this all made sense for you. That's SEO. I kind of want to wrap that up with the SEO. Um, let me show you some Facebook now. All right. So I went into Facebook and I don't want to show you everything in here but I'm gonna show you this chart right here okay so on your on the right side of your screen so I went and targeted um, did some research there's three things when you're targeting an audience in Facebook so if you're trying to sell t-shirts if you're trying to get people to read your article if you're trying to sell tickets to a concert whatever it is if you're trying to get people to uh, you know rent your limousine it doesn't matter where it is. We work with a ton of niches. There's three things that you need to um, keep in mind when you're targeting your audience, and that's 
associations or organizations or dot org associations you know what associations are there out there that's relevant to what you're trying to offer uh, the second thing is topics of conversation so for you it would be sports and um, you know high school football and, and maybe some famous high school coaches there or uh, you know the the NFL I mean I don't know if that that would be kind of too broad and too high you're more of high school but you would want to focus on topics of conversation um, the Heisman Trophy winner you know would be a good one for college you know um, the the NCCA right so th those those types of co topics of conversation is what you're going to want to target and then people and places so people like i just said you know if there was famous high school coaches you would want to target that their their names if you wrote articles if you have some very very good articles on some really famous uh, sports players you're going to want to mention those people and target those people that are interested in reading those types of articles about those players um, and then, of course, places, um, you know, so if you're into very specific, you know, certain uh, colleges or uh, high schools, you're going to want to target those high schools directly, you know, and the, uh, everyone that's interested or have gone to that school or coached at that school or maybe that school made the news um, for, for a state championship or something like that, you're going to want to target that place. So all those things are targeted on Facebook. So. I did a bunch of research and I went ahead and targeted that audience. Um, and we have a big audience of about 122 million people. Um, so this right here shows us if we run an ad on Facebook and on uh, on Instagram, we're going to reach anywhere between about 900, 1,000, 2,000 people. So just to call it safe let's just call it a thousand you're going to reach a thousand of people today so we're going to be boosting um facebook posts from your facebook business page you know for the athlete's guide and we found with these if you boost a post with a picture promoting an article for people to read more you're going to get you know somewhere between 20 and 30 percent engagement rate it's a very high engagement rate if the relevance is locked in um but if you market with video, if you guys had a really good video of an interview or anything like that, and they, people can click to learn more or see more content, that's going to have a higher engagement rate. I'm talking about 50 to 65%. So that's going to be the way to go. Um, so if you do the math, if we're reaching 1,000 people a day, if we just do a boosted picture with content on Facebook, you're going to have you know somewhere between two to three hundred people reaching your website per, per day um, and that's with the with a smaller end budget here um, but if you have video that means you're gonna have anywhere between 500 to 650 people per day and that's just conservative numbers um, those could be a lot higher I'm just giving you kind of like the lower end so that is quite a few people to bring in from Facebook you know, so if you're bringing in, let's just say a thousand people per day, um, you know, what does that translate into into your revenue? Um, and there's always ways that we can, you know, target and get a refined audience and make sure you get in the highest engagement that you possibly can for your budget. So that's just some, you know, some information there. I just wanted to give you about Facebook. So that's kind of like the numbers that you're looking at after we uh, targeted the audience for you. All right. So this has been a pretty long video. It's going on 30 minutes. So I really appreciate the time you took to watch this. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day and go ahead and let you get back to me now, um, now that you have this information um, and that hopefully everything kind of makes sense to you. But I want you to go ahead, reach out to me, let me know what you think. Um, and I would love to uh, lock elbows with you and get this thing done. There's huge potential. There's a huge market for what you guys are doing. I believe in it. I know it's real. Um, and I really appreciate uh, you guys reaching out. So um, you have my information. My number is right here on the page. You can go to amplocal.com and hit contact us. It's got uh, more information uh, on how you could reach out. But um, yeah, go ahead and reach out. I appreciate the guys, the time you took, you guys took to watch this, 
and uh, I'll be in touch. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.